Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a second episode of the day. We are about to show you our new secret weapon, which we've been using inside of the game, guys. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the entire episode to see what it is. So check it out, we've been winning a lot of victories lately as we are pushing our way back up into that legendary arena, guys. We're going back into arena rate 3,000 plus trophies and there is one card which I've been using, which is winning me loads and loads of attacks. It's so fun to use, and it's so easy to get a three crown with, guys, especially down here in the lower arena. So I bet you, I guarantee you, none of you can guess what it is. So it's not inside of my battle deck. It's one of these cards inside of the card collection, guys. So take 10 seconds out of your time. Go down below in that comment section and take a guess which one of these 52 cards is the secret weapon. Which one is the secret nuclear weapon, guys? Could it be that legendary princess? Could it be Sparky? We all love a Sparky. Is it that Golem, guys? Is it Mr. Potter? Could it even be the Pekka? I bet none of you can guess what it is. So have you taken your guess? We are literally about to show you. We are about to do some live attacks using this mystery card, guys. What is the secret weapon? We are about to unveil it in three, two, one. It is the gods. No, I'm only joking, guys. It is the three musketeers. I bet you none of you managed to guess it was the three musketeers. If you did, you're a smart cookie. So basically, I'm going to show you how this battle deck works works live. There is a reason why I'm calling the Three Musketeers a secret weapon, guys. So check it out. we got the Hog Rider, the Giant, the Melee Goblins, the Spear Goblins, the Archers, the Arrows, the Minions, and of course, our secret weapon, guys. Those Three Musketeers. The average elixir cost 3.9 elixir, which is insanely cheap considering we have the Three Musketeers inside of our deck. So remember, guys, this is the final video before we give away that 14,000 gems tomorrow, that mountain of gems, $99.99, iTunes, Android, and PayPal. All you need to do if you are new to the channel is simply leave a like on this episode to show some support to the channel, and of course, subscribe to this channel right now to have a chance to win, guys. There is a link in the description box down below. Click that link and hit enter, and you will have your chance to win 14,000 gems. So here we go, going into Arena 5. Let's see what this secret weapon can do. Okay, guys, so there are some rules when using the secret weapon. You don't want to show your opponent that you have it because that is the whole point of a secret weapon. So what you want to do, you want to actually distract them, send loads of other cards down the right-hand side, and then where they're distracted, when they're distracted, you want to actually go in with a secret weapon, go in with those three musketeers, and completely destroy their tower. So we've already taken, like, loads of hit points off that tower on the right-hand side, which is absolutely awesome. But here comes a giant, guys, sending in a giant. So we're going to try and take out the witch using the goblins. There goes the witch. And now the giant should go down from these minions, guys. The minion horde. Let's send in the uh, the melee goblins as well. The giant's going to get taken out pretty quickly. He got a little bit of damage off, but I'm not too worried. So check it out. We're going to build some elixir. We're going to send our giant down the right-hand side. And then we're going to send in the secret weapon. Those three musketeers on their own down the left-hand side. So he's got a musketeer coming in, guys. We're going to deal with that musketeer by using... Oh, damn. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's got a big push coming in here. Check this out. Check this out. You know what? We may actually lose this tower. I don't want to show him my three musketeer card just yet. So let's just arrow those barbarians. I'm not too bothered about using that tower, guys. It doesn't matter. We're going to go for the three crown victory anyway. So let's do this. Let's get this ball rolling. So we're going to drop down the giant. He's going to head off towards the right-hand side towards that tower. He is now, hopefully also going to attack me from the right hand side so let's just see if this plan works so let's see if the secret weapon is going to be a secret weapon so he's dropped down the giant on the left hand side don't know why he's done that but here we go guys gonna send in some minions and some goblins just behind the giant to back it up and we're also gonna send in some archers guys hopefully he doesn't have an arrow card on deck if he doesn't then he's gonna find himself in some serious trouble here here we go so he's got the giant coming in on the left guys but our giant and our goblins are still up and running and we're about to unleash this secret weapon onto his crown tower maybe here we go we've got the three musketeers coming up very quickly there they are guys three musketeers about to go down but the tower's already gone down and we didn't even get to use the secret weapon so we're gonna have to go in for a second live attack guys obviously we want to show you what this secret weapon can do so let's go in for another one let's just open up one of them chests there we go we're not going to change anything inside of the deck here we go guys back into the arena five let me see if i can try it out for a second time so this time, we're going to try and do it a little bit better, guys. We are going to send in the Hog Rider, the Archers, and those Melee Goblins down the right-hand side straight away just to do some damage and, of course, distract that tower on the left-hand Sorry, on the right-hand side. So they got the Minion Horde coming in again. Once again, we've done quite a bit of damage to that tower. The Minion Horde. Should we arrow them? No, let's not. Let's not. Let's not arrow them, guys. Let's let them do some damage to the tower. Here we go. There goes the Giant. So the Giant's going down. 
We've got the three musketeers ready inside of our uh, one of our next cards. So we're going to let the giant go down the right hand side. And we're going to send the three musketeers as our secret weapon down on the left. Let's see how well this works, guys. Just, just watch how well this can work. So check it out. The giant's going down on the right. He's going to send loads of cards there to back it up. He's going to drop loads of his elixir to take out the giant. And now go the three musketeers, guys. Here we go, the secret weapon. They are already starting to unload onto that tower. Check it out. This is how well this strategy works. We're going to arrow the rest of his cards. And look at that, guys. The, the tower's gone down already. It took seconds. Is he going to be able to take down my tower? Nope. He's going to get close, though. Really close, in fact. So the Three Musketeers actually made it onto his crown tower and check it out, they've taken it down to 1528 hit points. So this is what I mean when I say secret weapon. Check that rage face guys, check that rage face. Let's give him a little cry, then let's give him a little laugh. There we go, there we go. Where's his little rage guys? Here we go, let's go for it, let's go for it. Let's go for that tower on the right hand side. Then there is only one tower left of course, that tower's gonna go down. 310 hit points remaining on that tower guys. His giant was a little bit of a distraction there but it doesn't matter. Let's take out his giant. Let's do some archers. See if we can take out the giant with the archers. His wizard should target my archers. Yes, it has. Oh, then it tar- How did it retarget my melee goblins there? That was a little bit unfair. So it goes down 10 HP on that tower. Went down from the wizard. It's okay, though. It's cool. This guy thinks he's going to win. This guy actually thinks he's going to win. There's no way he is going to beat me, guys. Check it out. So the giant's going to go in from the back. He knows I've got the three musketeers now, so it's not really a secret weapon anymore. But we are definitely going to destroy his crown tower using them. So check it out. We're going to send in the arrow card just to do mass damage to all of those troops there. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. Now let's go in with the three musketeer, the melee goblins. And uh, I think that crown tower is a history. Let's see what happens, guys. Crown tower is definitely history. Check it out. Drops like... It just drops like a sack of potatoes. It went down so quickly, it is insane, guys. So there is the secret weapon. So you know what? We've won two in a row. Let's go in for a third battle. Oh, we got a crown chest, guys. What's inside of here? We got some barbarians. We got some goblins and a mini pecker. Not bad, not bad. So should we change up our deck a little bit? You know what? Let's just keep the same deck. I mean, it seems to be working pretty damn well for me. So back into the, uh, the Arena 5. Oh, we're in the Builder's Workshop now. So into Arena 6. Here we go, here we go. So... The, uh, the Hog Rider Goblin and the uh, the Archer seem pretty nice looking right about now. So let's drop in those three cards. We're going to do some damage to the tower on the right hand side over there. Level 8 inside of Arena 6 is pretty low, isn't it? So that tower, has that gone down already? Wow, okay, hold on. Is this guy even going to attack me? This guy doesn't look like he's even going to try, guys. So let's just go for the crown victory straight away. Three crown victory, here we go. Now he's decided to attack me. What is, what is this guy doing? His crown tower is already down to 366 hit points. There is no comeback. So he's got those couple of barbarians. You know what? We're still going to use our secret weapon, guys. Let's go in with the secret weapon once again. So the giant's going to go down at the back right over there. He's also got a giant coming in on the left-hand side. Let's just drop in some spear goblins just to do a little bit more damage to those giants. To his giants, sorry. Now we do have our... Um, wow, okay. Whoa. His zap spell just killed my goblins? I've never seen that before. Okay, so here we go. He thinks he's actually going to win, but you know what? We're just going to we're going to go for it, guys. We're going to drop our three musketeers onto his crown tower. He's got to take out my giant. There is no option. He has to take out my giant. He drops in a mini pecker. Is it going to be enough? Of course it's not, guys, because we have the three musketeers about to rock in behind him. Oh, didn't even get a shot off. That is the second game inside of this episode where we haven't even got to use our secret weapon, guys. So let's go back in for another live attack. And see if we can take this guy out. Here we go. Inside of the spell valley. Let's see what we can do using our secret weapon, guys. Here we go. Let's do a little bit of a troll. Let's go. Oh, he done it back to me anyway. Doesn't really matter. So, it's going to be game on. Here we go. Archers. Melee goblins. And let's let's just send that for now. Let's see what he's going to do. So, he's got, he's got his giant coming in. Level 6 giant. The archer's going to get a couple of shots off onto the tower. The goblins doing a little bit of damage down. Those archers are so damn OP for what they are. So here we go, going to drop in some minions, and we're going to drop in the uh, the giant on the left-hand side there, just to distract the witch, whilst the uh, the spear goblins can hopefully go in and take her out. So there we go, going to drop in the archers just behind as well, now take out the bomber. So he's going to do a little bit of damage to my tower, I'm not really too bothered though, guys. Going to drop in the melee goblins, going to take out the rest of their skeletons, and now we can do a push. So now we're going to wait for our, oh, well, I was going to say, we're going to wait for our cards to distract, but they all got killed. So he's got a Hog Rider doing a bit of damage to my tower, but check it out, guys. We're going to go in with a Hog Rider on the right-hand side. He's going to defend that Hog Rider as it goes in, and we're actually going to drop in the secret weapon in on the left. So check it out, guys. There we go. He's defending that Hog Rider, and there goes our secret weapon 
Are they going to get some shots off? Of course they are, guys. Three Musketeers tearing down the tower. Check it out. Goes down in seconds. The Giant's getting his butt handed to him as well, guys. There is no way around this. Giant's going down. The Bomber's going down. The Barbarians have gone down. But they took out my tower, though. Fair play, fair play. They took out my tower. But here we go. The Giant's going to go in. We have no more secret weapon, of course. Let's just finish this guy off, guys. He's got 812 hit points left on the tower on the right-hand side. The Giant's doing some damage to it. We're going to send in the Giant Hog Rider Melee Goblin combo. And it should be history to that Crown Tower. Let's see what happens once the level 7 Hog Rider arrives. There it goes, guys. One hit point left, and it gets taken down. The three Musketeers done a great job once again. Our new secret weapon is definitely a fun strategy to use. So there it is, guys. That is going to be the end of the episode. I will see you very shortly in a few hours' time for another one. Don't forget, if you want the chance to win that Mountain of Gems tomorrow, leave a like and, of course, subscribe to the channel to enter, guys, and stay up to date with the giveaways and the videos. So did anyone actually guess our secret card? What is your new favorite secret card inside of the game, guys? Do you use the Sparky? That's another great card to use with, uh, with similar aspects. So I will see you shortly. Have a great day. Love you all. Peace out.